Hey what's up guys Aditya here and this video is all about blending the foreground image with any kind of background. So before getting started be sure to hit the like button and with that being said let's get started. Now before getting started prepare your images by cutting and dividing the foreground from its background. So import all the images and select the foreground layer and then click on image then go to adjustments then click on brightness and contrast. Now try matching foreground with its background. If the background is dark then try making foreground dark as well by pulling down the brightness and pushing the contrast. Now click on image and then adjustments then on levels. Now try adjusting levels because it is something which can make your image look much better. You can clearly see the difference after adjusting these levels. Now click on image then adjustments then on curves. Now adjust these curves as well. Now you can clearly notice that how much image has improved after playing around with those curves. Now click on image then adjustments then on color balance. Now you have to pretty much play around with these sliders and you have to match the color of foreground with the background. Like in this case our background basically contains red and the yellow color. So here I'll try my foreground to shift towards red and the yellow color. Click on filter, then sharpen and then on unsharpen mask. Now this will sharpen the image to get the attention because the background is blurry and the foreground has to be sharp and focused. Now the foreground has pretty much mixed up with the background and if you want to blend it more and make it look more cooler then have a look at this video. Well in this video we'll be talking about lighting effects in photoshop so make sure to watch this video. And now let's have a quick look on the before and after moments.
well this one is the bonus one if you want to adjust the highlights of your foreground then click on the images and then adjustments then on shadow and highlights this will highlight those area which has been blended with the background something like hair if you don't want to get the hair blended with the background then increase the highlight basically this highlights the light area well this is pretty much it guys for this video and i hope you guys have learned something new with the video so do share the video to help the other people out and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more such videos till the next episode you can watch these videos so this was aditya prakash signing off from our instant search tutorials